are you thinking about using strategic litigation for social change? If you're an NGO or campaigners with limited resources, why should you consider getting involved in strategic litigation? You may feel there are no other roads left to take, or because litigation could bring about, quite quickly, the change that your clients desperately need. It's not the tool, but it's definitely a tool that civil society should consider when they are trying to bring about social change. You do need to be doing all those other things alongside it. How the case is messaged is really important and I think you have to really look at the legacy activities really embedding the impact of the case. These are the learnings of Just For Kids Law, a UK-based charity who have used strategic litigation to bring about change in the national law four times in as many years. Being involved in strategic litigation doesn't mean you have to bring a case. You can bring one yourself or support one of your clients in taking legal action. And one of the easiest ways to get involved is to provide a witness statement, sharing your expertise to support the argument of either side in a case. However, Just For Kids Law has often acted as a third party intervener. You don't take one side of the case, but you offer information to the court that could be helpful to the court. And NGOs are in really good positions to do that because they can often understand better than almost anyone else the impact of a policy or law on the ground on the people that they're working for. In 2015, Just For Kids Law intervened in the case of Tiger versus the Department for Business, Innovation and Skills in the UK Supreme Court. This was a case brought by a young woman who was challenging the refusal to give her a student loan even though she had been resident in the UK for most of her life. Some recent changes in the law meant that long-term lawful residents were no longer eligible for student finance. The case highlighted how bright young people who had grown up in the UK had gained university offers only to find out that they were no longer entitled to a student loan. Without student finance, they were no longer eligible for domestic fees. So suddenly their fees doubled or tripled, even if Britain was the only home they'd ever known. In the Tiger case, Just For Kids Law knew they could bring the voices of the many other young people in the same situation to the court. These young people were participating at the centre of the intervention. Just For Kids Law wanted the judges to know that the decision would impact hundreds, even thousands of ambitious, high-achieving young people. Beaurish Tiger won her case. The judgment decided that the government couldn't exclude all students who were lawfully resident from student loans. After the decision, Just For Kids Law worked hard to make sure the judgment was embedded into policy and guidance and that it was communicated proactively to the media. You can find out more in these two other films. It is a lot of work, and NGOs and campaigners should be prepared for that. If the courts are unknown to you, they can be a frightening place, and the outcome's never guaranteed. It's a risky procedure. I think there are lots of potential downsides, but they can be managed. Probably one of the biggest ones in the UK is the cost risks of going to court. But there are ways of managing your resources and managing those risks. There are risks about maybe upsetting government or government partners that you've worked really well with. But there are also ways of managing those risks. This can be quite easily mitigated by working in collaboration with other organisations or even saying to government, we don't necessarily want to litigate, we felt like it was a last resort. Sometimes taking a legal case can have government partners take you more seriously the next time you see them in the same room. It can give you a seat at the table when otherwise you might not be invited into a meeting. Even if a case doesn't go your way, you can build on it and raise the profile of an issue which may continue the conversation and affect appeals. One of the brilliant things that come out of it is this creation of this very strong 
movement of young people who are now committed activists. After seeing so many other young people um, who were going through this, it was almost like a light bulb moment where I was just like, wow, this is really enlightening. And these people, these young people want to do something about their situation. I was standing up for myself and not just accepting the decision that I was actively going out, trying to make a change, not in my situation, but with the people that were affected. Being around young people who share the same vision as me, it really makes a difference because this is a youth-led campaign that we're having. Ultimately, if those with lived experience of the problem are able to participate, if you invest in thoughtful communications and work to embed the judgment in practice, you could help bring about significant change. Strategic litigation can be powerful. It can be impactful. It could be an important tool. It could be an important tool for you.